And here we are, folks. Game one. Field. So there's no iron on this stage, correct? Like, I'm just, just get, get to, you know, for like looking at this stage. I thought Battlefield was one of the ones that does have iron. I always forget that that's like a, a really integral aspect of Steve Counter Play is the stage selection. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably I, know I, that. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't tell just from looking at the stage. It just doesn't look like it. But... Oh, what a strain yeah. there from Jay getting just the back to back fair sandwich. Oh. Hey, okay, Chris, stay in the fire. Oh, I love the use of the yo yo there, but Jake was just out of the way and avoided that punish. Oh, yeah, Jake is like, <laughs> please let me get these gold tracks on this cart. Like, I need to just go through all these nest hitboxes. And oh. speaking of hitboxes, PK Chris gets caught charging the wrong way, immediately eats a sword to the face. That was so tragic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, no, we're living. Wow, that's some good DI from Jake. Oh, great pivot grab. Actually, surprised oh. to see him not back throw Ness off stage. That would have been a really unwise air dodge there if Peter Chris had any more damage on him. <laughs> oh, got out of the PK fire so quickly. Is he going to be from ledge? Nope. Looking for the dash cat kill, but man, Jake was ready for him. Just patiently shields, just grab, toss the, the anvil. Yeah, no anvil missed. shenanigans, though. Yeah. He said he eats dash attack punish for the kill. Yeah, yeah. He wants to send it off stage. Fortunately, drop that. Yeah, that's yeah. a great, great trade for Jake. I don't think he cares about getting hit by VK Flash if he just gets to land on top of him with the anvil. Oh, and the diamond forest smashes are coming out. Like, he's literally just swinging it. Like, he knows uh -oh. he's Oh, man. I thought Chris did it. Carried to the blast zone there. Oh. The initial hit of PK Thunder 2, that's interesting. PK Chris has to worry about so many things that can kill him right now. Meanwhile, Jake is farming so many mats, and <laughs> for good reason, because he gets another gold cart, <laughs> or golden track yeah. cart. Jake, Jake is just getting so much damage off of like these like air drift down just before landing carts, and Chris cannot react to it. So it's like right at the perfect height where PK Chris has to burn a full jump for it. I mean, Jake is going to work right now. So much percent. And it just seems like PK Chris has to do so much to get the kill right now. But there's the <sighs> stall with the side magic. Beautiful back air there to get the kill. Yeah, very well played. Still has a lot oh. of work to do, though. It's a scary spot to be in against uh, Steve. That was a really sneaky PK flash. <laughs> But yeah. not enough knockback to really do that much. So Jake, who can just oh. go off stage and get the big fair, no spike needed, takes that stock and wins game one. Yep. Getting caught in the cart there is just so scary. So, so scary. Yeah. Just because uh, even if you mix up your mash to get out, if the Steve is waiting, they can react with something that can kill you most of the time. Hmm. Especially if he has the diamond, as you saw. Yeah. The diamond's so important for that character, and you really, I, unless you play a very hyper specific character whose game plan can actually let you easily deal with it, Steve gets diamond. Like you, you have to, it's almost like Arsene, but you just have to like understand the character is going to get it, and then be aware when he when he'll start swinging. And as a uh, Lockslow po points out in chat, yes, um, uh, Jates, Steve was mining iron on Battlefield, so. That's good for him then. I guess he has to really be careful with like stages uh like Smashville in town, I guess. But um yeah, it's it's rough too. Like if you don't have a character that can just very easily approach, especially to get past the blocks while Steve is just farming materials, you just gonna have to hold it a lot of times, like just accept that Steve is gonna get the things he wants and try to play around it as best as possible. Yeah, we'll have to see what PK Chris wants to do differently here in game two. I wonder if he's um, thinking of of uh, Smashville or Town. I think he's probably he's gonna definitely want like a fewer fewer platforms in some way, shape, or form. But uh, we shall see here in game two.
Oh. Oh, so you get fewer platforms. Okay. How about none? Oh, here nice. we go. Yeah, casual uh, 60%. No big deal. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. Like, this deep gets the blocks in front while they're farming materials, and you have to just do so much to try to interrupt that. Yeah, even with the weakest materials. Yeah. Uh, here comes the fair train, though. Caught him trying to get Card out. Not going to let him get that, but the Elytra allows uh, Jake to get back to stage. Okay. Seems like PK Chris uh, <laughs> is using the PK Thunder to see if he can interrupt the mine, the mining from Steve just a little bit. Oh, oh, okay. I like the hold on the down smash there from Jake. Even if that doesn't work, the back air is going to work, and that's going to be the first stock here in game two. Oh, nice swing and a miss there by PK Chris. And even there, Jake anticipating the jump, able to get out in front of him with a big fair to stuff PK Chris's attempt to knock him out of it. True. Oh, man, PK Chris really struggling right now. Oh, oh the Elytra oh, knocked him up. And... The stage. <laughs> okay. Oh. Finally, Peter is catching Jake just in a little slightly awkward position as Jake probably was uh, more hurriedly trying to get back to stage with the cart. Oh, that was so oh. unlucky. That knockback angle was so bad, even despite where the blocks were. You'd figure he'd get knocked into it. Oh, and just eats another cart. Couldn't even land there. Jake with almost reckless abandon just carts right into Ness. No worries, no cares. Down air. Oh no, follow up the up tilt instead. Oh, it's Jake combo. who's gonna start comboing. Still has the diamond too. He has so many win conditions right now. <laughs> oh, 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 and again! That yeah, well, is enough. Oh my goodness. Block was right there in yeah. like like the vicinity of the knockback. Instead, the F smash sends PK Chris completely sky high above it oh, into man. the blast zone. It's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> that was convenient. <laughs> You know what was unfortunate there? I wonder if PK Chris was thinking like, okay, maybe if I DI up, <laughs> right, I'll be able to like get a little bit hit off of the the block, and maybe like make me live that easier. But he just went straight to the left. Yeah. And a uh, diamond forward smash is insane. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that, that's like the DLC <laughs> move of of Steve. Just the, the amount of times I've seen that move kill at like sub 100 from like halfway across the stage is crazy. Yeah, I, yeah, I paid $5.99 for this move move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great I stuff, just, Jake. Yeah, it's just, it's so brutal because, especially with, uh, oh, that's right, this is best of, uh, best three out of five. I forgot. <laughs> I thought that was it. Still, PT Chris still in this, still has a chance to try and turn things around. Maybe starting to reflect on some kind of strategy, something new he can deploy against Jake in order to try and make this game three one in his favor. Let's find out. Oh, Lord. And... I actually think this is one of the best stages on our stage list for, for Steve, <laughs> if not the best. I'm surprised that Pete Chris is going here. But and Chris is able to get st some of the startup for these sequences, but he just cannot seal the oh, deal. Wait. Okay, never mind. I thought that would lead to a lot more. I thought he might get forward smashed from the PK fire. <laughs> wait. Tech chase on the platform. Okay, not the strong hit of back here, unfortunately, but still keeping up the pressure a little bit here. Yeah, Peter Chris might be using the, the plats on the sides of Kalos in order to box, uh, almost like funnel where the cart is so he can kind of like decide where he wants to be when the cart comes out. Big back here, though. Nice. I uh, Chris is starting to feel himself. It's good to see for a player down in a match like this in bracket. Yeah. Oh, speaking of funneling where players go, Jake setting up those blocks there to force Chris down. But Chris, oh, he was yeah. one down arrow away from making this a very considerable lead. Yeah, Chris is definitely going as aggressive as he can. It's working out so far. The part of why I think this stage is so good for Steve is just 
being able to farm materials on the side platforms is so hard to deal with as the opponent. Also having a big stage too helps as well. But in spite of that, I mean, Hikaru's still sitting with the stock lead. Oh, oh, oh I say oh. that, but man, how do you avoid that as Ness? You just you're don't. Starting the up B. You don't. If, if the thing is, it's calculated risk to go for PK Flash first, and he paid for it. And the anvil also adds to the block too. <laughs> It's so funny when I see Steve players literally just put an optical course between them and their opponent while they're fighting. He's like, yeah, why are yeah. you just trying to get past these blocks? Let me just get all my best materials. <laughs> oh, oh no, he almost died to another Diamond Forest Smash. Almost died to the cart too. And Jake gets back to stage first. His stage control, but his own blocks get in the way right there. Eats a, f eats a fair as well. Good rising there from PK Chris. He's starting to build back some momentum right now. Nice punish. Definitely saw the forward smash coming. Yeah, something I noticed from Jake a lot, he definitely televisions on the forward smash, especially when he gets diamond. So if his opponent recognizes that, they can get a good punish. Beatrice is caught being a little smash. careless with his oh, recovery. Oh, you gotta man. watch it. Oh, Chris kind of falling asleep on the wheel there. That uh -oh. might cost him because uh -oh. he's taking zero to 60%. Huge combo already. Not Back really throw. stopping here either. Jake right now just saying, I am oh. undeniable. Jesus. I don't know what percent <laughs> Ness was at, but I know it was less than 100. It was like 70. It was like, what? <laughs> oh, man. That Diamond Force smash is no joke. No joke whatsoever. Jake